Uh, sebenarnya kalau kita melihat perkembangan dunia music masa kini, memang kita dapat mengikuti macam-macam uh, music. Apatah lagi, ia merupakan salah satu kegemaran pada generasi muda masa kini. Tapi di sebalik kerancakan music-music modern, ada juga music-music tradisi yang masih lagi hidup. Umpamanya kalau di negara kita ini bergandang, berdundang, seruling, guling tangan dan sebagainya masih lagi bernafas. Malahan semakin digemari ramai dalam arus perubahan dan keadaan sekarang. Inilah juga yang berlaku dengan music tradisi dari kawasan uh, Andes, uh, kawasan apa ni, uh, Himalayan dan sebagainya. Dan uh, pada pagi ini saya kita akan sama untuk mengetahui uh, sekumpulan uh, ahli music Inca Marca. Inca Marca ini uh, sedang dalam rangka lawatan ke negara kita. Kalau kita menyaksikan inilah ahli-ahli uh, Inca Marca daripada uh, Amerika Selatan. Dan kalau boleh saya kenalkan di sebelah saya ialah Andy, Jamie, uh, ya. Uh, sekali lagi ya di sebelah kanan saya. Uh, ya. Satu, ini Andy, sudah? Oke, okay. Andy, yang Fernando, yang satu lagi. Ah, yang satu, Christian, yang tiga, yang dua, Jamie. Uh, Christian Next Jose Jose Jose, Jose. 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 And Michel And the right uh, Ane, uh, Michael, Michel, ah uh, Michel, ah uh, sorry, ah <laughs> uh, uh. okay, ah uh, inilah uh, pemain-pemain dan mereka ini sebenarnya dalam rangka uh, membawa sembahan di negara kita Brunei Darussalam. Sebenarnya kalau kita menghayati music Inca Marca ini adalah merupakan satu music yang paling uh, seninya paling halus kerana ia menggunakan uh, peralatan yang bukan peralatan modern tapi peralatan konvensional tapi sesuai dalam alunan kalau kita mau apa uh, relax sedikit jadi uh, no who is going to talk with me first of all welcome to our program thank you uh, very much sorry I've been talking a lot to <laughs> our audience uh, sorry I'm not forgetting you all <laughs> okay by the way uh, who is going to oh, myself okay. and Andy now what is the beauty behind Inca Marca I think it's a, a mixture of the the music yeah. and and the friendship that we have you know? yeah. been together for nearly 10 years, eight nine years now, and uh, yeah, just that sort of connection you know you have when you can oh, play yeah. together for so long. Meaning that the, the instrument can bind your friends. Yeah, the understanding. So what what kind of songs are, more, are much more suitable to fit with this kind of instrument? Well, traditional songs from the from the region of the Andes, you know sort of our kind of music you know mm -hmm. yeah what is the response from the public amidst all this sort of call the era of modern musics with gap and everything rock and uh, so many kind of music but yeah. yet I uh, find, it still survive yeah people use it to escape a lot of time you know it's sometimes it's relaxing sometimes you know they feel like dancing and uh the ages of people that listen that like it is amazing you know, we have little kids Yeah. Dancing and loving it, you know, and older people as well, you know. So yeah. I understand that you're going to give us two songs. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go with the first song first okay. before okay. we go further. No way. Okay. Let's see. Wait. Thank you. 
Splendid, that's the first number. What brings you here to Chusbura as part of your destination to perform this kind of music? Um, we're invited by the Empire Hotel to do some, some shows at the Bunker Cafe. How many countries have you been going? I mean, going uh, to perform this music? And we've traveled extensively through Asia, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, South Africa. Yeah. Do you think that this kind of music can be, uh, survive amidst all this, uh, what called the development of the lat uh, latest music, modern music, so it, um, compared to what uh, this can offer? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, our music, this kind of music is still being written today, you know, um, and it's still popular in South America as, as well, you know, and it's evolving taking on new instruments too, you know, like bass is very popular, you know, just to give it a slightly, you know, bigger sound to a lot of this kind of music, but not losing its traditional rhythms or the instruments, you know. The tools of the music are mostly based on bamboos, then how did uh, all these uh, kind of things are being uh, created? I think we we'll start with the, the charango. Yeah. yeah. It's a, a little instrument that's been uh, invented for the Indians in South America, from mm -hmm. Bolivia, Peru, yeah. Ecuador. Uh, when the conquistadors came to South America, uh, they didn't leave mm -hmm. the, the, the people to, to, to play the guitar. So the Indians uh, invented that little guitar to play first. Uh, what about the next thing uh, behind, uh, next to, yeah? This is, what do you call that? Sampoña. Sampoña. Yeah, it's made uh, uh, mainly of palm pipes. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's coming in different. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Different size. There's some sampoñas like that ones that are about three meters long, mm -hmm. so you got a bigger sound. Meaning that it produces different kind of, uh, yeah, uh, uh, like sound, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Pitch. Yeah. What about the drum? The drum is made uh, mainly from wood. Oh, that's the small one. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, different. Okay. You got tarka. Oh yeah. Yeah, every time come. In uh -huh. different. Okay. So the the, the drum is um, made mainly from wood in uh, skin of. Yeah. Uh, they, well, they use like, a different kind of skin, like skin of uh, gold. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they they use llama as well, mm -hmm. or different uh, skin. What about the one that uh, you use as your necklace? <laughs> <laughs> Chachas. Chachas are the goat's nails. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, but the, uh -huh. It's like when you cut the, cut the nails oh, and yeah, yeah, grow okay, again. Okay. So, Okay. Ini sebenarnya uh, penonton, kalau dapat kita fokuskan uh, kamera kita uh, ke uh, alat ini adalah merupakan kuku kambing, kuku kambing yang dihimpun, di apa dikikis. Uh. Yeah. Uh, And now we got the guitar that is, uh, uh, yeah. is mainly from Spain. Yeah. In uh, the Kenya. Kena. We call this seruling. 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 You call it. Kena. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. At first, uh, the Indians used to use the uh, what's called the feather of the condor. Okay. Big um, bird. So the feather will this 
side in in so they use mm -hmm. that to play at you know in about 500 years ago but now they yeah. use bamboo bamboo okay. and this instrument is, is is very new it's called ron rocco uh -huh. with can, can i can i yes, can <laughs> we show it to our camera it's very nice <laughs> dilirik dengan berbagai apa uh, adunan ada permata it's a real diamond, isn't it? <laughs> 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 This is this has been only invented about um, thirty years. Thirty years. Oh, it's yes, been thirty it's, years. Yes, it's it's a mixture of uh, the small one? And, and guitar. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I I must say that thank you very much for coming to uh, to join us to join us in this program. Thank but let us okay. offer to our audience uh, another song okay. so that we wrap up our program with that. Uh, uh, so what's the name of the song? Uh, it's on Senora Chichera. Senora, 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 Senora Chichera. Goodbye. Yeah. Senora <laughs> Chichera. <laughs> okay. Ada penonton, kita akan sama mendengarkan persembahan Senora Chacha dari kumpulan Inca Marca ini dan uh, uh, we appreciate that. Thank you very much for coming and for being with us. Kita dengarkan sama-sama.